Welcome back. In this module, we'll create relationships between tasks. This is obviously important because we need to represent the dependencies that our tasks are going to have with each other. I typically don't want to lay carpet before the paint dries on the wall. I also don't want to deploy server updates to my production environment before I've fully deployed successfully to test, right? So I want to create these dependencies that are reflected in my schedule. And we'll learn more about dependency types in a follow-up session, but for right now, let's create some simple default dependencies between our tasks. So what I'm going to do, and I have the module for file open, is I'm going to highlight, in this case, task two through seven. And I can hold down the shift key as we learned, or I can click and highlight that range. In either case, I want to have those tasks highlighted. Then I'm going to go back to the task tab, and I'm looking for the link in the schedule area, the link command, link the selected task. So I highlight the range, then I click link, and what it's doing is it's creating a dependency among these tasks that are highlighted and it's, and it's setting the default dependency type, which is essentially saying that the completion in this particular case of determining the project scope, okay, once that's done, then secure project sponsorship can start. So this is a finish to start dependency type between these tasks. Then I'm going to highlight the next range, which is 9 through 17. And I'm only going to go to 17 for now. I'm not going to include that final task in there. But I'll do 9 through 17, and I will link these together. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a dependency, but I'm going to do it in a slightly different way. I'm going to do it from the dialog box. And I'm going to do it with task number 9 because I want to create a dependency between scope and the requirements because I need to go through scope before I move through requirements. So I want to have this task being completed before I can start on this next task. And I'm going to do it through the dialog box of task number 9. I'm going to double click on task number 9. This brings me to the task information dialog box. I'm going to click on predecessor. There's task name, which I could go find, but I can also just simply type in the number in here. So I know scope complete is number seven. So if I type number seven, hit the tab key, notice how it finds it and it just simply inserts it in there. So that's one way in which you can create these dependencies. And I'll click OK there. And notice how it creates that dependency type. Now, this is the preferred way of setting dependencies. You might be looking at this and saying, well, can we create a dependency between scope, which is task number one and task number eight? We typically don't recommend using summary tasks for dependencies. Really think of the summary task as more of a container. It's not really expected to be part of dependencies. We're not expected to assign resources to summary tasks. Um, in most cases. So we just leave them alone as it relates to the dependency. Now I'm going to undo that last step and I'm going to show you that you can simply hold down the control key when you're also setting up dependencies. So if I have task number seven selected, I can hold down the control key, click on task number nine, and then I can link those as well. So that's another, another method you can use there. And then to wrap this up, I'm going to go into task number 18, and I'm going to use the dialog box to have not only task number 17 dependent upon it, right, but also task number 7. So I'm going to double click on project complete, go into the predecessors again, and there's my opportunity to type in 17, tab it over, and even 7. Now, of course, you're not going to do this in every instance. This is an example to show you that in some cases, when you don't have a complete you know, dependency structure, you can always call upon other tasks here when you're using these, um, you know, these different options around the task information.
Survivor.